our Monday news package. My name is Mohamed Asma, the Assembly Coordinator Prefer from Jesus Turib, and with me is Mohamed Usman, the Assembly Coordinator Prefer from Jesus Turib. Now, let's listen to today's headlines. Governor Abrazak faced tough battles as PDP plot to retake Kwara. Kwara wants return to underdevelopment era Abdrazak. Kwara Senator, all to demand for good governance. Police, EFCC, collaborate in fighting against illegal mining in Kwara. Now the news in full, state news. The 2023 general election in Kwara State promised to be interesting battle on the Tintas in the mocking political area of the state. Political watchers observe that the APC may find it hard in 2023 to repeat the same feats considering the intra party crisis. We tore the party apart shortly after, shortly after Governor Abrazak was shown in. This is because that major gladiators who team up with Governor Abrazak to win the election have decided in in push out of their political ambitions on the platform of other political party in the state. Notable and formidable gladiators who reportedly had disagreement with the incumbent governor include Professor Oba Shaif Abdurrahim, now with NMPP, Waziri Yaqub Gombri, YPP, Akim Lawan, SDP, Yaman Shaif Abdullahi, PDP, all former members of the APC. Kwara State Governor Abraman Abrazak said the ruling All Progressive Congress I deliver much on his campaign promises to the people. Speaking at the official re-election campaign flag off for House of Representative member, Honorable Tunji Olawi in Omoro, headquarters of the local government area is... The governor said the administration was light here, yeah, apart from the predecessor in meeting the, the basic need of population. And, and repositioning Kwara for sustainable growth. Abrama Abrazak, in his speech, like the People Democratic Party, bid to come back to rule the state to a person who defecated in a rented house and still wanted to occupy it after another person has carefully cleaned the mercy. They want to take us backward. No, we have moved on to Kwara. The senator representing Kwara Central at the National Assembly, Dr. Ibrahim Yaya Oloregbe, has called on Nigeria East to take charge of their future by demanding good governance. From elected officials, Senator Ibrahim Yaya gave, gave the charge at the 2022 Zona Intervention and Capital Project. Facilitated by him, where about 625 people benefited on a in on a total of 450 million naira, youth empowerment equipment and agricultural produce. The Kwara Central Senator said the youth are the backbone of a same society as they play very active role in the process of social transformation, in the process of social transformation of a nation, which he said is a reason to empower them to be self-sufficient. The police command in Nkwara has pledged to work more closely with the Economic and Financial Crime Commission to tackle illegal mining activity in state. Commissioner police in the state, Pool Odama, made the pledge when he paid a costly visit to EFCC Zona command in Friday in Ilori. Odama said that collab collaboration was necessary to discipline deal with all economic in the state, the, the, command, the commissioner of police who rightly assumed duty com commanded in the both step be taken by the EFCC to keep illegal mining activity in Kwara. To end the news, here are a reminder of some vital headlines. Governor Abrazak faced touch battle as PDP plot to retake Kwara. Kwara wants to return to underdevelopment era of Jerusalem. Kwara Senator wants to demand for good governance. 
Police EFCC collaboration collaborate in the fight against illegal mining. I still remain your humble newscaster, Mohamed Asna, the assembly coordinator of Prefergo from JSS3 B, and with me is Mohamed Usman from JSS3, the assembly coordinator of Prefergo. I say thank you and have a wonderful day and edge.